Hey everybody, Snake Doc here, and we got my 92X full size F version on the table today, and I'm gonna show you how to install the skeletonized Beretta hammer. There's a part number for you, EU00042. Um, Brownells is a retailer of factory Beretta parts, so you should be able to find it there, as well as maybe eBay and definitely uh, BerettaParts.us or whatever the heck their uh, website is. And there's a UPC. For those of you that want to search it by UPC number, take a look at that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to open that up. I already took the grips off. If you don't know how to take the grips off your gun, give your gun to somebody who's not an idiot. Because if you can't figure out how to undo grip screws, I'm sorry, but you should not be firing a weapon. Um, so magazine's out. Um, so we're going to take the top end off. So you're just going to push your takedown button right here, flip your takedown lever, and pull your slide off. You can leave your barrel and recoil spring in there. Um, next thing you have to do is take out your hammer spring you want to make sure that your hammer is in your fully forward position not on the half cock notch and i'm going to try to make sure i'm doing this on camera what i have here is just a wooden dowel rod and because this doesn't have a lanyard loop i'm going to use this to push up on there to relieve the tension on the dog bone pin and then i'm just going to use this 330 seconds punch you don't have to use a punch, you could use a nail or an Allen key or whatever. And hopefully I can get that to drop out. So I'm just going to push up on that. There we got it halfway out. There we can see it's halfway out. Um, so I'm going to actually flip this down and see if I can tug it out my hand. If not, I'm just going to tap it out, and I am just going to end up tapping it out. So I'm going to hold my hand over that, and I am just going to grab a, a little brass hammer right here, and I'm going to tap on that, and there, that is out now. Um, so now I can feel that there's tension. Here is our dog bone pin. And they call it that because the middle is recessed and the ends are fat. So it is a dog bone pin on a U.S. made. If this was Italian made, it would have a roll pin in there. Um, so I'm just going to push up with my thumb and slowly take my punch out. And then here you can see the cap starting to come out. My cap is out right here. And then you can see the hammer goes loose. So this is a polymer uh, cap. It is plastic. And you can see some residual oil. I haven't even cleaned this or anything yet. Um, so now what I'm going to do is just going to push. I'm going to leave the hammer spring over the hammer strut. You can see it right there. Let me move this out of the way so that you can see a little bit better. Um, so I'm going to leave the hammer spring there because we know it's around the hammer strut. And I'm just going to... Oh, and that fell out. Look at that. So one thing when you put that back in, you're going to need to shine a light down in there and make sure that you're going over the hammer strut, which is way up there. And that should be good. So I'm just going to keep my thumb right there. This has the enlarged hammer pin, which is a safety mechanism on these. So we're going to see if I can just push it by hand. If not, I'm going to have to uh, move the trigger bar out of the way and push it. Uh, with a, a punch or something, but it's real easy. So just grab a hold of that and pull that out and then your hammer should come out Let me see Something's grabbing it Hmm Doesn't want to come out There it goes Okay, so here you can see we have our factory hammer, big and fat. So now what we're going to do is get a razor here and cut this packaging. And then we're just going to rotate. And here we, you can see our skeletonized version. Uh, I think they used to call these like the Elite 1 or the Elite 2 hammer. Um, 
you can see the hammer hooks are going to be in the exact same spot. Hopefully you can see that. See that how I'm sliding them. So all your notches and everything are going to be in the same spot on this. Um, let's see, this might help. There you go. You can see we're kind of lining up perfectly there. So there won't be any change in the way that it actuates or anything like that. Um, so again, I'm just going to keep my uh, hand over that and I'm going to try getting this down into place. Hopefully, I think I'm fighting that sear is what the problem is. There it's in place. And as soon as that hole lines up, you should be able to feed your hammer retaining pin across. There it is. And there you can see we have that in place. So now I'm going to make sure that I am surrounding the hammer strut, which I am. I want to make sure that, yep, and the, the, uh, the trigger is camming the hammer, so we know we're good there. So now what I'm going to do is put the uh, lanyard, that, not the lanyard, but the uh, hammer spring retaining cap in. And hopefully I can do that with just hand pressure here. And sometimes what you can do is just use your punch as a slave pin or a, um, a, a Allen wrench as a slave pin. And that might be what I'm going to do with this nail right here. Unless that nail is too big. No, oh, it should work. Let's try it with the punch. It's close. You hear that? Listen to how tight that is. So I got to make sure that I'm lined up right for when I depress it. And I'm just going to shove down in there again. There I've got my punch across, have it captured. So now I'm just going to start using this pin to push across and push the punch out. So you're just going to slowly back off the punch. Start feeding the dog bone pin across. There it goes. There you can see my punch is out and now the dog bone has it captured. So now I just got to push down on that cap and get that dog bone pin the rest of the way across, which I might just give it a tap with the plastic onto this hammer. And there it is. So it's all good like that. Um, so now we want to check for action. And you don't want to let your hammer hit the frame, but there you can see it went all the way to the forward position. Um, half cock notch right there, full cock is right there, and it works. So now you can put your slide back on. Flip your takedown lever so that your slide stays on, and there we can now we can function check it. So now we'd be in single action, let's decock. Decock works. We're going back on to fire, so we should have double action here. Yep. Uh, let's go to half cock. There's the half cock notch. Works there. Full cock. Good. From single action here. So there we go. It's a really simple install. Um, you know, it only took a couple minutes. It would have been faster if I wasn't working behind a camera and having to explain myself. Um, so now I'm going to put my grips back on. And one thing I wanted to show you, these are plastic, not G10. So these 92X grips are plastic. I don't know why people think they're G10. Maybe the 92X performance ones are G10. Um, but the serrated washers are silver. And the disappointing thing, which it's not a huge deal, but I just want you to be aware um, is these screw heads are fractionally smaller than the uh, depression that they rounded out in the grip. So when this is all the way down secure, and this is a two millimeter Allen, by the way, um, that works on these, um, you can see a little bit of silver from that washer sticking out around the edge of the grip. So they probably should have used black ones, um, or they should have machined the holes a little bit smaller. 
on the grip so that these would be a, a perfect fit into that slot. But uh, anyways, I just want you guys to be aware. I try and keep everybody as informed as possible on it. And hopefully we'll be able to shoot this pretty soon. Weather's starting to warm up, so I'd like to be able to go out and find some nice uh, outdoor spots that I can blast away and get some footage of it for you guys. So thank you guys for watching, and always shoot safe.